Medicine, Nursing and Health Sciences is Lakshani C. Wickramasinghe, who is looking at eyes, lungs and wonder, baby. Stevie Wonder is a legend. Not only can he sing, but he is also an inspiration, achieving everything that he has despite losing his vision as a baby. But exactly how did he become blind? Well, when Stevie was born, he didn't come out kicking and screaming like any other healthy baby. Oh no. Instead, he came out silent, blue in the face, struggling to breathe. He needed oxygen immediately. So the doctors quickly put Stevie into a glass chamber and exposed him to high oxygen. And within seconds, life was returning back to his body. This life and death scenario is one faced by 15 million babies born premature or preterm each year around the world. As the earlier a baby is born during pregnancy, the less likely their bodies will be ready for life outside of the womb. Just like Stevie, who was born six weeks too early. As a consequence, these babies have a greater dependency on high oxygen for survival. But this life-saving oxygen can lead to two severe diseases. The first is an eye disease called retinopathy of prematurity, ROP, which causes damage to the retina, leading to blindness. This is how Stevie lost his vision. The second is a lung disease called bronchopulmonary dysplasia, BPD, which can lead to breathing difficulties even as an adult. So consider this. Stevie lost his vision, but imagine if he also lost his ability to breathe properly. This is the reality. For 72% of preterm babies, and no cure exists for either disease. Despite such a high incidence, the relationship between the eyes and the lungs has not been well researched. And one of the major reasons for this is that there is no suitable animal model available that looks at the eyes and the lungs concurrently. But for my PhD, I aim to address this gap in research by establishing a new model that develops the eye disease ROP and the lung disease, BPD, simultaneously in one animal. To do this, I will take newborn mice and put them into a high oxygen chamber to mimic a preterm baby in the hospital. Afterwards, I will look at their eyes and their lungs to see if the damage accurately reflects disease in a human baby. If successfully developed, this unique animal model will allow us to further research the relationship between the eyes and the lungs bringing us closer to the ultimate goal, which is to develop a single treatment that can prevent two devastating diseases that affect preterm babies. I think even good old Stevie would be singing along to this tune, wouldn't you?